Do you collect more than you play? I've asked this question of my friends, and nearly all of them say no, they play more than they collect. But if you really pose the question to them, if you really actually get down to the nitty gritty, the question is actually this. Do you have more games in your backlog than you do have in your have play section? Do you buy two games for every one that you play? Do you go on sales and get dozens of games only to play three or four of them and the rest lay in wait? That's the true question, and one I pose to myself. In truth, many of us are collectors of games and not actually players of them. Or rather, we've collected more of them than played. Does it really matter what the answer is? I guess not. I mean, there's no right or wrong way. You're a collector of games, you're a player of games, you're both. Some are more than others. But the question helps us define what kind of person we are. Do we consume? or collect? Are we the type of people who purchase to play or ones that squirrel away games for a rainy day? Playing some, but collecting more. I've always been squarely on the collecting side. I have far more games than I'll ever be able to play in one lifetime. <laughs> I mean, Steam sales are just too tempting. And those humble bundles, too vast. Last generation price plummets, are too great. All of these things are too much for me to pass up. So why is my channel called Inconspicuous Consumption and not something like Avid Collector? Well, because I'm trying to change my habits. That's one of the very many reasons for this channel. Yes, it's to reconnect with friends. It's also to make new ones and to share my thoughts and especially my writing. But it's also to force myself to view what I own and put that to good use. Sitting on a shelf does no one any good. Languishing on my digital backlog helps no one. Playing the games and sharing my thoughts about them with you sounds a lot more positive and a step in the right direction than keeping everything to myself like a hoard of gold. That sounds like a really nice goal for my channel, to share my thoughts and feelings and opinions with you rather than just bottling them all up or storing them on a shelf. There are other more important goals, ones I've not yet revealed, but this one seems like the personal, my friendships, sharing my works with others, etc., are married nicely with my profession. Playing games, watching movies, reading books, and then writing about them to entertain you all. Therefore, my game collecting days are drawing to a close. I've said before I've wanted to stop collecting. Many a time to my friends and family, much to their chagrin or eye rolling. But putting the brakes on this hobby has always felt too sudden too forced. I believe that coming to an ever slowing stop is a far better way to end this hobby of mine. So I still have a few more things to add to the collection, a few more games to grasp before calling it quits. But this channel will eventually and naturally shift towards the games I've owned a long time rather than ones I've just picked up yesterday. It is unsustainable at least for me, to chase after that get your video out the week of launch kind of mentality. That is why I've purposely staggered my videos. I upload something and wait a few weeks. This way I can orderly show you the things I have and prepare for more videos in the future. I can't be a rabbit constantly chasing the sun. I have to maintain a steady, even pace, one that I can sustain for years to come. Otherwise, this channel will be like many others before it, a flash in the pan, some twinkle of silver in the corner of somebody's eyes, and then gone. I'm attempting to stay a little longer than just that flash. So my collecting days are drawing to a close, but my gaming days are just beginning. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. For more videos, please click the links above.